startup that recently secured a 1.5 million euro investment. Yeah. Before delving into my personal journey, I want to acknowledge the impactful statistics woven in the fabric of Germany's sustainable ecosystem. With a remarkable 21 founders with a migrant background, stand as integral contributors to Germany's entrepreneurial landscape. Of these trailblazers, 58% were born outside Germany, reflecting the rich diversity that permeates our community. Furthermore, 29% of first-generation migrant founders arrived in Germany to pursue higher education. Another 22% sought employment, while a commendable 8% specifically journeyed to initiate the entrepreneurial endeavors. And I also believe that today we, have, we can also add to that 8% from those who are here in the room who can also specifically come from Africa and to start their businesses in Germany. These entrepreneurial visionaries may, like yourselves, not only generate a substantial 33% of their revenues abroad, in contrast to 20% of startups in totality, but also cultivate teams that are significantly more international in composition. In essence, one in every five, five startup founders in Germany boasts a migrant background, a testament to the profound impact and influence we collectively yield. Embarking on this entrepreneurial voyage, I encountered multi-phase challenges. Number one, the language barrier. As you can see, I'm more comfortable speaking in English when I talk about entrepreneurship as in German, because I don't want some things to be lost in translation. So for me, that was the first barrier that I encountered. Secondly, there was, and there still is, a wide lack of information. Uh, when you go to the Rat house, if you go to the job center and you want to ask about opportunities for startups, or for entrepreneurs, especially with a migrant background, it's very difficult for the people that work there to relate to you that you want to start a company. Then there's also a prevailing notion that as a newcomer, my primary goal should be to secure any available job. So, like I said, I came to Germany as a refugee, as an asylum seeker. But in my own country, I was not an asylum seeker or a refugee, I was an entrepreneur. So when I came here, I wanted to proceed in the same line of business, in the same way that I had done. But the system had come to a position whereby their walls, their dura walls, or their brick walls, or let's say there's the Berlin Wall in that sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. So that was one of the biggest challenges that I really faced. And I feel even up to now, I feel people from migrant, uh, migrant founders also face similar challenges, whereby if you want to speak about entrepreneurship, not many people will give you, will listen to you. I see a lot of people are now really shocked. It's not all gloom. We are going to the nice part. So for me, the catalyst was an organization called Lead Hub, uh, which is based in Hamburg. My pivotal moment came through the auspices of Lead Hub in Hamburg, an initiative that opened the door to entrepreneurship for migrants. The subsequent qualification as an entrepreneur in residence at the Berlin Startup School marked the genesis of my venture, Deutsch Connect, which is a platform dedicated to breaking down language barriers by teaching the German language to young people uh, we started in Germany, but now we are in Africa as well as in India, where we teach German to young people who want to come to Germany as for care, social year volunteers, or for apprenticeship. We call it hashtag smart migration, hashtag brain game, not brain drain. So, my journey with Lita, I used to stay 40 kilometers, 60 kilometers away. We used to start uh, lessons at 6 o'clock in the evening, finish at 9. By the time we finish, there was no train to take me back home. So I did this twice a week and I used to stay, I had to sleep over at a friend's place. It was a very difficult time for me because at that time I was also going to work. But I was determined to say, I've gotten this opportunity. These people are helping me to start up as an entrepreneur in Germany. And I had to take that opportunity and grab it with both hands. Fast forward to today, and my journey extends beyond the realms of Deutsch Connect. Co-founding Puchera, a venture that amalgamates German investments, my unique African perspective, and an unwavering commitment to revolutionizing the mining industry. 
has been a testament to the fusion of diverse influences and, and expertise. So with Kuchela, uh, from last year I went through eight months of validation uh, at BIM Berlin, where they give certain problems within the logistics se sector as they are funded by Boimo Group, one of the biggest uh, internal logistics companies in the world. So at any given time you get chucked out. Uh, it's very painful. Every month you have what they call gate checks. So together with my co-founders, we were able to go through four gate checks and we were able to pitch to the Boima Group in June this year. And then they then uh, invested in us. So this is a new venture. And when I stand before you, it's unbelievable. Uh, because of where I came from, it's unbelievable because through the journey, I've lost friends, family, because it's not easy to be an entrepreneur. It's not easy to be a migrant entrepreneur. So it's a difficult journey. It's not for the faint-hearted. Let's not try to lie to each other. You need to be strong. But that strength is what carries you through the problems. That strength is what carries you when chips are down. I always say for you to say there's a miracle. You have to have overcome big things. And in this case, that is what happened to me. I'm very proud to stand before you and to present before you. And what I say is not coming out of a fictitious story. This is a real life story where you can take it from there to there. So, so I also believe that as I go forward now addressing those migrant founders who might be here as well as aspiring entrepreneurs, the number one thing that we should take from challenge to opportunity is the risk taking. Migrants by nature are risk takers because you are leaving your home, you are leaving a place perceived to be safe and going to an unknown. So that alone is a risk. And as we all know, entrepreneurs are very at the very top of risk taking. So that already puts you in a distinct or definite line whereby we know that migrant entrepreneurs are risk takers. As migrants, we inherently embody the spirit of risk taking. Our dual ecosystems, which both our host country and our homeland, position us as catalysts for increased trade cultural exchange and global market access. What do I mean? I mean because I come from Zimbabwe, but I'm based in Germany. I know the culture in Zimbabwe. I know what we can trade in Zimbabwe. At the same time, I also know the German culture, the way of doing business. I can be able to be the bridge or the link between Zimbabwean business and German business. I can be the link between African business and German business. So I also find that at times, uh, German business going to Africa does not appreciate the role of the African diaspora. A lot you go to Africa through organizations, NGOs, who are not business related, but are certain programs that they are working for. You need to take entrepreneurs back to the ground. Because for me, I don't want you to lose your money in Zimbabwe. It's an embarrassment to me. But I want you to put your money, invest, and get something out of it. Because it benefits my country, it benefits you as a business as well. So I think that is very, very important. You need to start taking the African diaspora to African countries. You need to start taking the Indian diaspora to India because these are the people that know both sides of the coin. And this is very, very important in terms of business. Forgive me, I'm also someone who's very passionate when I speak. <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of what we want, my suggestion would be, it's important to build strong networks. A critical takeaway from my experience in Germany is the profound importance of building robust networks. For example, I'm part of what is called Micropreneur. It's a very diverse uh, group of different migrants from all over the world who are based in Germany. It's a very, very great group of people who have, have made a great network. Platforms like LinkedIn, participation in organizations promoting trade like the IHK, AHK, uh, Fair Trade, and attendance to at relevant conferences such as this one saves you valuable tools. I firmly believe that your network is your network. Lastly, in essence, we transcend the role of mere entrepreneurs. We are entrepreneur ambassadors. While not diplomatic envoys, our ventures act as pioneers, fostering economic collaboration between Germany 
and our respective homes. In closing, I implore each of you to recognize the transformative power you hold, our ability to turn challenges into opportunities, to breach cultures, and shape the future of entrepreneurship positions us as a collective force propelling Germany and the world beyond towards mutual prosperity. Thank you for your attention and here's to embarking on this inspiring journey together. Thank you.